How many times did I talk about this place? Million times. Yes. So we're finally in Gökbelle Tepe, one of the most historical places in the world. I have wanted to come here for seven years and now we're finally here. We packed our car, we got our ticket and now we're in the waiting area for a shuttle bus who will take us up to the archaeological site. So why is this one of the most historical places in the world? It is because Gugbele Tepe is around 10,000 BC. And just to put that in perspective, the pyramids are around 2550 BC and the stone heads is around 2000 3000 BC. At the time of making Gobekli Tepe, there was no metal tools, so everything is cut by stone. Stone tools has been used to make all of this. How are you feeling? I'm, I'm blown away. I think this is just so amazing. It's so old and it's so beautiful. And humans made this like 12,000 years ago, like longer than we even understand our history 100%. This is the time where they're supposed to be like mammoths and ice time, and people are supposed to be gather hunters running around trying to find food. And at that time, someone decided. Let's build this. And they built 20 of them. Actually, maybe they built more, but they found 20 of them. So they started with building these stone circles and then covered them every time after they built one. So they built one and covered it and built one and covered it again and again. Around 8200 BC, they just stopped building and left the area completely. So there is these settlements which consist of a circle and then these different T pillars and in the middle of them there's two big ones as you can see and these T pillars are supposed to resemble humans that's at least what we believe and then on some of them there's also animals and almost all of the animals are dangerous animals except from one of them which has a dog on it. So there is this feeling of historical and actually knowing less than they actually know we do know that it was not a settlement, it's not a city because they have never found any houses or use of like kitchen equipment and so on. So it has most likely been a sanctuary or a temple. But what kind of temple? That's what nobody knows, which we will most likely never get answered because how will we get it answered? It's 12,000 years ago. But no matter what, it is absolutely amazing. Gobekli Tepe means pot belly hill uh, because it's on a hill and apparently it looks like a pot belly. And I read an article that said that their excavation team believed that they only uncovered around 5%, which means that all of this might also be Gobekli Tepe. <laughs> January 2021 and I'm not encouraging anybody to travel until this whole you know is over uh, we luckily live in Turkey so it's not a big problem for us we have our own car to drive around in and there's surprisingly few people here which is very enjoyable because this is really a site where you want to stop up and look for a minute and if there's a million tourists you feel stressed and not able to do that so I think we had a really good chance to take both good photos and video and then just stand for a minute and look. In the 9th millennium BC they started making squares instead of circles and for some reason they also got worse at building. It's a German archaeologist called Klaus Schmidt who first wanted to excavate the area and he spent 13 years of his life doing this. Some say it changed history, but Klaus Schmidt said in his TED talk that it didn't change history, it just added a new and very important chapter. 
It was not until 2018 that this became a UNESCO point in Turkey, which it still is today. When we came there was actually sun and now it's pretty windy, so we came on the perfect time and now we're going back at the perfect time. I'm sorry, but we have to come back in the future because they're gonna open a new excavation area at some point. So thank you for watching our video from Kukdale Tempe. So go back, belly. I have this feeling that there's almost. <laughs>